we thought it was funny. <laughs> We're in Cork. I am in Cork. We are in Cork. Saturday morning, Saturday late morning, we're staying in a kind of a hotel called Rose Lodge Guest House. It's adorable. It's so adorable. It's real quirky. The reception area downstairs is just really quirky and artsy and a little different, but I really like it. Just like random artwork and I suppose quirky is probably the best way to describe it. I think it's adorable. So cool. somewhere different and yeah the room is really nice so this is my bed we slept here last night we arrived here yesterday in the late afternoon early evening we're right in Cork City so we just walked into the into the town and got some dinner and then we drove out to Cove which is a town about 40-ish minutes away it's a place I've been wanting to go back to for a long time I haven't been to Cove in so long but I'd just been itching to go back and see it again it was so nice we like got some ice cream we just walked around just had a look there's so much history there it's really pretty it's right on the sea it's a fishing town Cove was actually the last stop of the Titanic before it set sail into the Atlantic so it stopped in Cove picked up the last few passengers and then sailed onwards. It was called Queenstown at the time, but now it's called Cove. There's a statue of Annie Moore, who was the first, the very first person 
to be processed as an immigrant in Ellis Island in 1892. So we just had a walk around, it was nice, nice evening walk, it was still very bright, so we had a little wander around Cove and then we came back and went to sleep. Now it's Saturday, um, so my sister is gone now. She's doing her work-related thing that she came here to do. So I just tagged along. We made it into a little, little weekend away while she does her thing. So she's gone all day today. She'll be won't be back till five this evening. So I figured I would probably take a couple hours and just walk around, just explore a little bit, and see if I can find any cool things to film. Just kind of have a little wander, and then I'm gonna come back here and probably spend a few hours editing the first video. So much footage so far and I haven't gotten a chance to look back at any of it yet so I haven't even started any editing so I figured today would be a good day to do that. Tonight what we have planned is my, when my sister gets back we're gonna probably get some food um, and then we're gonna head over to a place called Ballycotton which is about half an hour away so we're gonna go do the Ballycotton cliff walk a nice scenic walk and then tomorrow is really exciting so we're checking out tomorrow morning and then we're heading over to Fota Wildlife Park. We're both really excited for that that we were able to get a ticket to go. Just had very good childhood memories there so we're excited to go back. We haven't been back in a long time so it's gonna be really fun. So we're gonna spend the day at Fota tomorrow and then head back home to Mayo on yeah on Sunday night it's been really nice so far actually been really really nice <sighs> so yeah so there you go check back in a little bit I suppose yeah talk to you later one of the best things about Irish hotels is that they automatically give you everything you need <laughs> when staying at a hotel which is a kettle and tea and milk that's one thing I miss. I'm back now, a couple hours later. I'm a little bit melted, sunglasses mark on my face. I just had to come back, cool down. I just kind of walked around for a bit. I got lost <laughs> and then I got, then I found myself again. I feel like I might just stay out of the heat and get cracking on this video. I'm having some lunch and watching a program called Ireland's Garden Heroes and it's really nice. I'm enjoying it. It's half two now so Laurie will be back just before five so I have a couple hours to work on the video. Probably start filming again when we get to Ballycotton so See you then.